Hey everyone, Ryan here. So this was not meant to be my next video, but the nature of Power Rangers merchandise is that stuff just randomly turns up out of the blue when you're least expecting it, so apologies for the delay in the Dragon Zord video. I really wanted to get this up as it's just arrived today. So what we have behind me then is the new Power Rangers OG soundtrack on vinyl. It's an exclusive to the I Am 8-Bit website. You can still buy it, it costs $25 plus shipping. It's the original music of Ron Wasserman, a single disc LP, two sides, 12 songs, about half an hour of material. It says on the official website page that I Am 8-Bit collaborated with Saban, the purveyors of the Power Rangers brand, to create this remastered vinyl soundtrack. You can't buy them anywhere else. And on the back of the box it does have their logo stamped, so I wouldn't expect to find this at your local vinyl stockist if in fact you're that way inclined. So JC Richard has done the artwork, uh, I believe that's the guy that did the artwork for the Shout Factory DVD sets. It's a really nice image, you might have seen me try to do it justice with figures uh, back in the summer. A slight complaint, I don't know if this is just how it was always intended, but it's not as clear as I thought it was going to be, it's a bit more grainy, it also is on the disc. I don't know if that's just the resolution of the printing, or if it was always intended to be like that. It does seem to give it a, like a grainier, more retro like feel to it. It is really nice artwork. I wouldn't be surprised if one day this is available in like Urban Outfitters or something. It is quite a shame that they haven't put any text on the spine, but what are you gonna do? There's been a move lately to coloured pressed vinyls, very limited quantity ones. This one is no exception. It's a rainbow ranger splatter disc. It's really nice, actually. I think they did something similar for Stranger Things, and a few other vinyls have used this method lately, but this just works so well for Power Rangers. Okay, yeah, it's missing some pinks and black, and if you wanna be a bit pickier, even green and white splatter, but it's got your kind of basic primary colors, and it just works so well with the brand. I have had this thing on pre-order for about half a year. I pre-ordered it on November the 4th, it's now April 19th, so they just about made their quarter one of 2017 shipping estimate. One thing that does sadden me a bit is that it is just a kind of one sleeve. I was really kind of expecting it to fold out and kind of have the inner artwork that you can see on the screen printed uh, long print that you can also buy off the Iron 8 bit website. The fact that it's just a singular floppy sleeve is a bit of a disappointment. As it is, you get the five Power Rangers on the front, you also get Lokar, the floating head on the back, as well as the Megazord, and then you're kind of a bit out of luck until you see the villains who are on side B of the vinyl. The same image of the five Rangers on the cliff top is repeated on side A of the vinyl sticker. What I do like, which was quite considerate, is that they thought where the hole in the vinyl was going to be, and they made sure that you weren't going to lose any artwork in the pressing of that. The track list then, all your favourites are going to be on here. We've got Go Go Power Rangers, the long version, Fight, Lord Zed, Hey Rita, We Need a Hero, Combat, Go Green Ranger Go, 541, Zords, I Will Win, the Go Go Power Rangers TV version, and then I did quite like this, a little interlude from Alpha 5. Wait, wait, wait! Ay, 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 ay! Zordon, what's that in the viewing globe? This is the only other hard disk format music of Power Rangers I have. It's the single, which came out in the UK in 94, Retro. This also had that moment on where Alpha alludes to the White Ranger coming as a bit of a tease for the second season. What's quite nice about the vinyl though is that this one then goes into track 12, White Ranger Tiger Power. That is the future you are seeing, Alpha. That is the White Ranger. <laughs> Similar. I would say if you are a bit of a glutton for nostalgia and Power Rangers merchandise like I am, this is a very lovingly done product. I can't imagine that it's going to be in stock on IM 8-bit for very long. I can imagine that it's going to go for much more on eBay when they eventually do sell through. So if you want it, I think just buy it. There are a lot of kind of sound clips from the series, which I think were on the original soundtrack as well. They are quite humorous. I don't know if it was done in a very tongue in cheek way, but hey, that's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for you. It does add to the experience somewhat. I can't think of any songs that are truly missing. I'm sure there are some, but in terms of all the ones that I remember fondly, um, so like things like We Need a Hero,
obviously the original Power Rangers theme, which has been built into pretty much every legacy weapon that we've had in the last few years anyway, but here it is in all its glory. <laughs> And also I did really enjoy when Lord Zed comes in and kind of overthrows Rita and you get the dialogue from that. He's really mean. I kind of forgot about that. I will not fail again! Quiet! Those Power Rangers are nothing but mere infants! You were defeated by children! You dare call yourself an Empress of Evil? You have made me very angry! Your days of control are over! There will be no other chances! Can we talk? Silence! I have spoken! So yes, this is just a quick one to say the vinyl is out. People that ordered in the UK are getting them. I imagine people in the States won't be far behind. Those of you that didn't pre-order it, now's your time. Ah, inadvertent movie pun. Happy listening, and I will see you when we do this again in a bit.